Today we're going to work on the run. Yeah, that's a good spot. My truck broke down. <laughs> trying to keep an eye on predators. It's just the weasels I worry about. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I'm gonna try to build a bear-proof chicken coop. Yeah, I wanna uh, order some chicks. We're gonna try to get an automatic watering system figured out. Dirt and crap on me. No bears getting through this. <laughs> okay, so this is episode four of the bug out chicken coop, or the bear-proof chicken coop. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, you remember Hans and Ruth took me to that lake where the moose hang out. Um, something I didn't mention was Hans was crossing this old bridge that they had made years ago and he stepped on a board and fell through the bridge and hurt his knee pretty bad. It swelled up. I felt really bad. They've done so much for me. Lent me a chainsaw but also took me on a tour uh, they letting me use their outdoor shower. Uh, they had me over for venison dinner. So I want to fix that bridge before they get back in another two or three weeks. And then they have a proper walkway again. Um, that bridge is not safe. It's pretty decrepit. I want to do something for these folks. They've been really good to me. Stay posted. I don't know how many more episodes there will be. But I do want to make a rhubarb custard pie with the rhubarb. So now we have to get on the run, so the chickens basically are on their own. I don't have to keep coming up here constantly to uh, check on them, what I want to do. Go, get off that. Get off it. <laughs> so anyway, I brought the chicks up here about a week ago. I just thought I'd show you. They love their coop. They come in and out. They uh, love watermelon, cantaloupe. I decided I'd just put some chicken wire so that they can get out during the daytime. Uh, but at night, they always end up going back in the chicken coop. Um, they feel safe there. So. Put it that way. covered in chickens. Don't crap on me. Funny thing is, if I make a distress call, they will head back in the coop. Try to see if they'll do it. You're crapped on me, man. Nah, they like the cantaloupe better, I guess. Okay, come on, man. I gotta get up now. These are just starting to crap on me. But, I'll tell you what. Uh, butcher day is a hard day for me. Uh, you almost get attached to them. You know, they get pretty friendly. Uh, I'm the first thing they've seen since they were born. So, pretty much, you're like the parent and the guardiator. Or... That's the way it is. So pretty much they know that the coop is safety. They know where to go if there's danger. Uh, I only let them out in this little run if I'm here right now because I don't have the run finished. But they're pretty happy with their coop running water they have now. Um, I think they've been up here a little over a week. They're doing they're growing like crazy, as you can see. 
I mean, they were just little. This guy's pecking at me. Well, stop pecking at me. They get it, but they come and they go. So I'm gonna get a fire going and have something to eat. Um, it's getting dark soon. But anyways, I just wanted to say, I've been camped up here with the chickens pretty much ever since I brought them up here, except for one night. Uh, one night I left them on their own, where I wasn't here. Uh, just trying to keep an eye on predators. I'm going to cook up some corn, get a fire going here, have some corn. And, but what else? Chicken. Now these birds that you buy in the store, very small compared to how big these birds are going to get. These birds will go 15 to 18 pounds. This thing's, whew, I don't know, three. So my birds are going to, but well, don't tell the chickens this is what we're having. But anyway, uh, get my dinner going, keep another eye on them for another few days. Then they should be on their own so I can get out and get some more videos going. Uh, I'm dying to get out and just get some more videos going. And this is really quite the project that I undertook here, believe it or not. Oh, pardon. Sorry. Pardon. Sorry. Pardon. Sorry. Pardon. Sorry. Oh, yeah. This looks like a great place to sit right here in the doorway. Pardon. 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 Okay, I'm here at a friend's house, and uh, my truck broke down, head gasket. But this is where I stay. Um, I got a tow truck coming. I'm going to have to get it pulled up to the chicken coop. And, uh, but I do have a spare vehicle right here. So I put this on the road, my little Ford Ranger. Um, it runs like a top. It's kind of rusty and this and that. Uh, not all YouTubers uh, have fancy vehicles, you know. But anyway, so I'll drive this, we'll tow the other truck, because uh, i got to get up and see the chickens. It's been three days since the truck broke down and I haven't been back. They've been locked in the coop and check on them. I brought them some treats, some corn, some watermelon. They love that stuff. And I still don't have the run done because I did injure my uh, arm. Apparently it was a pinched nerve. I just got back from the chiropractors. It's already feeling better. So hopefully I can get this run finished. I don't know how many times Dennis has uh, rescued me out of the bush. He probably forgets how many times. You're gonna stand this way, Dennis, a bit. So how many times do you think that you've towed my vehicles or rescued me out of the bush? Oh, I have no idea, too many. Too many. <laughs> I would say uh, at least a dozen times. You remember that time that me and Mike came and your tow truck went through the ice? Yes, do I ever you remember. You swam to shore and we rescued you and had to get you back. Hypothermia would have set in there. Yeah. But I've had it a lot too. That was... Uh, White Swan. Yeah, that was in the middle of January. It was cold. It was cool that night. So that was the end of that rescue mission. That, uh, so yeah, so we, we, we were out trying to get a vehicle out of the ice and he's pulling on the tow truck trying to get the vehicle out and I could see the ice going down we're yelling at him but he couldn't hear us because of the truck running and next thing you know boom tow truck went right through the ice too. Hey Dennis? That was yeah, something. It was the next morning all there was was just a little bit of the cab light sticking out of the wall. <laughs> well it's good it wasn't <laughs> deep. Eh? Yeah, that was funny. But that must have been cold for you. It, it was uh, not funny at the time, but uh, now it's funny. It's funny, no, <laughs> but we were pretty worried about it. But anyway, we rescued him. He rescues me. That's the way it works in the bush. Right on. I'm going to show you uh, how much these chickens love corn. They're going to go absolutely nuts over this. 
They've been up here three days on their own because I was having truck problems. Problems with my back. Look at this. That corn is not going to last long. Give me some watermelon though. They love that too. Alright, so we're back at the coop. Today we're going to work on the run, try to get this finished. Well, if you want to, Blaine, grab that pole. I got some help today because my arm is still bugging me. Yeah, let me grab that pole and we'll get that in the ground. Now I get to use my bench. I pretty much need a bench to be able to screw these in properly, but at least I'm not using it for drywall. Okay, we're one post short. We're gonna have to chop a tree here. I'm gonna get Blaine to do everything. It's not that I'm getting lazy. You can go up higher, Blaine. It won't fall. No, you won't be able to break it. You're gonna have to cut it. There she goes. Be able to push that off. <laughs> okay, I just want to say uh, thanks to uh, Alex Rebar, Liberty Rogue Outdoors. Gave me this hatchet when I was in Maine visiting Zach. We're going to use it on some of the projects. I'm not very good with my one arm. Good enough.
get there. One more run. Come on, come on. We got the frame done. Very well. If that is your custom, prepare to die. to stand it up this way. Oh yeah, should go. Okay, I want to make sure it fits. Okay, now, see if it'll stay. It's going to be a solid fence, boy. This game where no bears getting through this. It's just the weasels I worry about. Let's figure out what's going to reach. Move that two by four. There you go. Okay. Okay, about there, okay. stiff wire, there we go, I'll fix this kind of stuff up tomorrow. So I'll get the outside wire on, chicken wire for smaller stuff, I don't think that'll keep weasels out. We let them out to run around. We don't have the roof on yet, but I'm going to leave them for tonight. I hope all goes good. I really do. Oh yes, Gregory. They'll be just fine. I don't want to try to get in there and push them all back in. They don't cooperate with that idea. We just got to put the roof on and tie some of the wire together. That's it. Yes, Gregory. Make sure the pen is bear safe. That's the concern. You've had a long day. Why don't you go back to your truck and rest your eyes? Okay, so I just have two runs on the roof. Wire it all together. And they can be on their own. I'm telling you what, these chickens have, this is like running a daycare. They just take up so much time. I've been up here like just about every day for a month looking after them. I'm sure going through the food too. Okay, so I, uh, I finally have these chickens where they can be on their own for two, three days at a time. As long as I leave them food. But uh, they really love dandelions. And I saw something very interesting. I've never seen the likes of this. I'm going to tell you this little story about the chickens. Uh, they usually will fight over the food. I don't know, hopefully you can see. They just will fight each other over the dandelions, cantaloupe, watermelon, whatever. But I have this one chicken, and I, I call it Hopalong. It's a hen. Now, when it was a chick, something happened must have broke its leg and I was going to put it down and I didn't and it's healed all funny it's kind of crippled it likes to sit by itself and I got to get this on video if I can but there's another chicken in here that was stealing the dandelions from the other chickens bringing it over to hop along dropping it in front of it going back stealing more dandelions and dropping it off now I've never seen the likes of that with chickens uh, it's like this one other chicken looks after Hopalong. I'm telling you, that's something else. But anyway, I'm going to head off on another adventure. Uh, now that the chickens can be on their own, I'm going to go berry picking and hopefully catch some more burbot uh, back to the same spot. And what I'd like to do is 
set up my fish trap that I used on the 30 day challenge and try to set the night cam up so that we can see it actually working this time going off and working so that's the end of uh, part four bug out location chicken coop bear proof we hope weasels will uh, be my problem maybe but so far so good we're uh, we haven't lost any these birds are uh, a uh, little over a month, month and a half or so old. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. That's all I got to say. I was thinking I might uh, go to the dump, try to make a hang glider. So that could be my last video. So stay tuned. We got stuff coming up. Got my first casualty. Uh, he is missing feathers on his neck, and I hope this isn't the first sign of a weasel. So this is Hop along. Maybe we better put the seatbelt on you. They plug the trough up, and then they flood themselves. And then I want to see what they do with a firecracker if I let it off. Forest fires are encroaching on Greg's chicken coop. Will he get there in time to save them, or will they all be cooked?